expecting grace. Yes, speak to yourself. Yes. I'm expecting great things. Great things. Let's give God some praise in here this morning, for this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, 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 because I'm expecting great things, Sister T. I'm expecting great things. Oh, God, I just thank you. God, I just thank you for the great things that you're about to do in all of our lives this morning. Oh, I just want to say happy Mother's Day to all of your mothers this morning. Because if it had not been for the Lord, some of us mothers have been through something. If it had not been for the Lord, some of us mothers have experienced something. Great things. Great things. Great things. Oh, we just thank you this morning. We welcome you here to Friendship Worship Center, located at 261 East Lincoln Avenue in the great city of Mount Vernon, New York. Yay! Money earning Mount Vernon. Yes, 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 yes. We just thank God for this is day that he's allowed us to see. Just another day, just another day, just another day. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody don't have the, and not clothed in their right mind with activities of their limb. But we expect great things this morning. We expect great things. We expect miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. 
So I'm asking you just to draw in your wandering minds and let's just worship the Lord this morning because he's truly worthy to be worshiped. And this morning, our scripture reading is going to be coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, starting at the fourth verse. Since it's Mother's Day, we're going to talk about something that mothers do in spite of. In spite of. Starting at verse 4, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy, love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave unruly, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but in rejoice in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never fails, but there are but whether they are prophecies, they will fail. Whether they are tongues, they will cease. Whether they are knowledge, it will vanish away. For we know in part, what, but when it which is perfect has come, and that which is in part will be done away. Dropping down to verse 13, and now abide faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these, the greatest of these, the greatest of these, the greatest of these is love, is love. And the blessings of the Lord is upon this red word this morning. And remember this, now abide faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Father God, we have entered into your gates with praise, into your coats with thanksgiving. Know that the Lord is good, and his mercy endureth through everlasting. Father God, we thank you for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. We will bless your name at all times, and your praises shall continually be in our mouth. Father God, as we gather today in the sanctuary, God, we come for no other reason but to lift up your name in worship and praise. God, we invite you in this morning to sup with us a little while. God, we ask you to bless each and every one in the house this morning. God, we ask you to anoint your male servant. We ask you to send a word, God. God, we thank you for this day, another Mother's Day, God, that you've allowed us to see. God, we thank you and we praise you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Amen. Amen. Come on. Can we put our hands together? Praise the Lord. This morning, our hymn is found on page 410, Faith of Our Mothers. Hallelujah. Faith of our mothers. Living yet in cradle song at bedtime prayer, in nursery love and fireside love. Faith of our mothers. Hallelujah. Come on, let us sing.
mother's love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's nothing like our mother's love. It kept us. It nourished us. Hallelujah. Praise your name, oh God. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. Yes. Put your hands together. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say.
to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord I have no life. reason. Bless your name. Lord is my life. Good morning, my friendship family. Welcome to Friendship Worship Center on this Mother's Day. I'd like to bring you greetings from our bishop, the general bishop, C. Nathan Edwards, and our first lady, A. Ro Denise Edwards. On behalf of them and the children's ministry, we would like to say Happy Mother's Day, and we have a little prayer for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up all mothers today. We thank them for their sacrifices so that we can have a life of contentment. Grant them favor, Lord, and may they have a wonderful place in existence in your heart of grace. Yes, Amen. And now the children will pass out roses to all the mothers in the church. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. This is just a portion of our children's ministry. Give them a hand. Sure love. There's nothing like a mama. Oh, love you. Look how it's so wonderful. It's so wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? Love is what love does. I said, love is what love does. Repeat after me, love is what love does. Love, sing it. Love. Everybody say love them to me. Love me. Oh, love. They're passing our roses to all the Yeah. 
celebrate our absent church mothers who are convalescent and one who mother mother Bertha Jenkins who watch us each week mother we celebrate you and may the strength of God be upon you we miss you mightily for years you was a vital part of our ministry in person and now virtually we still feel you Mother McQueen, we thank God for your life. And as she's recuperating in rehab, we pray God's strength. And I'm told now she's able to swallow and eat. God can do anything but fail. Cause Mother Council, we thank God for her, her return and she has been praising the Lord. Pray for our head mother, Mother Barbara Jennings. Thank God for her. Mother Lynn. Lynn Hall. And then Mother, Mother Deborah France. Mother, Mother Randolph. And the mother Mary Holmes. Thank God for the mothers. Amen. I want to apologize. Y'all didn't have the, somebody to drive the bus today. You did. Thank God. I was concerned about people being picked up to come to church. I want to share with you a very important announcement. I have several, but this is the most important one. Everybody said the first Sunday. We'd be celebrating the 78th church anniversary of Friendship Church, 78 years. And we still moving forward, strong, vibrant. We are on the cutting edge. And at 10 a.m. that day, every person that's a member of this church will be here for our communion and for our anniversary celebration. Last week, I've asked that 20 of you, and it may be more, will sacrifice $500 to celebrate on this day. I already had, I've already committed 1000 I had another member call, said that she's going to be listed on the 500 But I want you to do this. We, I, I'm learning something that we cannot depend on others to support the work of ministry. And I'm so grateful that you pay your tithes and your offering. But this offering is a sacrificial offering. I know things are tough, and I know I know all of that. But we are not subscribing to the economy of the world. We are subscribing to the economy of God. Yes. Did you hear me, somebody? And my and God made a promise. The promise is, my God shall supply. All my needs, according to riches of glory. I believe in sowing seeds. Because I know when you sow it, it's going to come back. Good measure, pressed down, run it over. So men give in your bosom. And we at Friendship, we don't make an appeal virtually. Because we don't want the gospel of Jesus Christ to some they may be offended, but those of us who knows the value of what we do through social media and through our in-person ministries, on Friday past, there was assembled 120 stakeholders in our community, in our building, the banquet hall. It was, we hosted it, but it was sponsored by the Mount Vernon uh, School District. And the new, we want to congratulate the new superintendent, Dr. Ben Conroy. She's the new superintendent of schools, effective, um, effective July 1st, but now she's interim superintendent of system. And uh, my children was raised by her, many people who have children in high school. She's been 
through Mount Vernon system for 20 years as a teacher then as administrator so she knows and she assembled us together to have a conversation on how we can rescue our most precious gifts our children and our youth amen that's right and so we are on the cutting edge of those things our universal pre-k program we have children that have some mental health challenges and that's not a put down we're trying to arrest that now somebody said now before they become a statistic and a problem in society we reach out to community. We feed the hungry. We really do. We provide this as a shelter. So what we do here in friendship is not inward focus, but outward focus. Our ministry is larger than what you see on Sunday morning. We have an extended arm throughout the length and breadth of this county, this state, and this nation, and people are being blessed. So I ask you to celebrate with us, bring your family and friends on the first Sunday in June as we celebrate the 78th anniversary, 78 years ago, somebody felt it was necessary to build out a church for the glory of God that succeeding generations will be able to enjoy and to provide services. I ask you to do that. On the 29th, we will have our services virtually. At 9 a.m., we will journey and go to English Chapel to be with them on their district union. That's Memorial Weekend. And uh, I want to take as many would go with us at 10 o'clock. We'll be at their service, a joint service. They're going to feed us. You'll be back by 1 o'clock because at 3 o'clock, the... Um, the Masons are having their divine worship. So I need our singers and hopefully our musicians to be on staff. I'll be preaching at 3 o'clock here. The 22nd, the fourth Sunday, we're going to Bishop Eric Figaro Church for their 39th church anniversary. And he's been their pastor for 39 years. He started that work. So things are opening up, and I want you to feel comfortable we will observe CDC regulations. We wear our masks. Amen. We wash our hands. And the best we can do is stay distance for the glory of God. But I think God has our back. Yeah. I can't hear nobody say, I thank God. Well, let me say this. I know God has our back. And no weapon that's formed against us. I said no weapon. It may form, but it can't prosper because the Lord has my back. I want to pray for you. Glad to see Sister Pena back. Thank God. Brother Pena, thank you. Glad to see you back. Made it there and back. He has two homes. A home here and a home there. The home there is his real home. The home here is his adopted home. But thank God for you being back to your adopted home. Praise the Lord. It's prayer time in the sanctuary. I, I believe God. I believe somebody's praying for me. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Let's, let's, I know this is old fashioned, but let's hear that. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Listening. Thank you. Thank you for hearing. Because God hears our prayer. Thank you. We haven't sung this in a while. But I want to sing this as we put the list on the screen of those who are sick and afflicted or challenged. God's going to do what God does. And if you want to join us at the altar, you can come and join us. We're praying. Sister May Randall, who's in rehab, we're not forgetting you. We're praying for you. Our prayers constantly for Brother George Snags. He's here this morning, like always. But we thank God for Jesus. I love you. Love you. Our mother lied. I'm praying for you, Donna. We're praying. And let me give you a report. Elder Chaminsky is doing better. 
I think she's home now. She went, she's home. Elder Tamisi, we're praying for you. Hallelujah. And God will touch and heal her body. He's already, it's already done. It's already done. Amen. Come on and sing it. We're going to thank the Lord for hearing our prayer. Everybody, thank, thank you for, for hearing our prayer. Come on, listening to burdens, listening, listening to burdens. Come on, Lord, you know. Come on, Lord, you know just how much we can. Hallelujah. If you can, let's stand on our feet. Thank you. Come thank on and sing the thank, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you. For hearing. For hearing. I pray. I pray. Come on, friendship in the world to know that we're grateful that God hears prayer. Everybody said thank you. Thank you for, for, for hearing and I, I pray. Be burned and pray for your brother and for, for your husband. Listen. Come on to The lyrics of the song that said, Lord, you know, you know, Lord, you know, just how much, how much we can. Yeah. Tell Dawn to come in here. I'll see you out there. Thank you, Lord. The devil is a liar. I feel something on me this morning. God's going to do what God does. Is that Dawn? Oh. Hear my say, say. Is that Dawn? Thank you, Lord. Come in, Dawn. I want to pray for you. I've been hearing about your challenges. The Lord sent you here. Somebody get me some oil. I want to lay my hands on. We believe God for a miracle. The devil is a liar. Listening. To Come in, Dawn. I saw you walk through the door. Take a pocketbook. Bring it up here, Mama. Lord, Lord, you know. Know. Lord, Lord, you know. Lord, you know. Just yes. You can bear. Bring up here. Can. Give me a hand. Thank you, Lord. I told your sister last week when I heard, I said, tell her to come here. I want to pray for you. Don, the devil is a liar. I said, I'm a sha da 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 I'm asking God to regulate this body. I'm asking God to regulate the insulin in your body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hands off of this woman. She's healed. That's right, she's healed. We move all the pain and the hurt. 
heal the body regulate the pancreas bring that pancreas back into the original alignment Hallelujah. we believe it for a miracle come on Don't somebody right help me we believe you for a miracle right come on we believe you for ammo we believe you for a miracle touch 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 come on it's already done come on it's already done saints clap your hand it's already done it's already done that's it come on come on pray come on missionary lay your hand on her lay your hand on her my missionary touch her Sharon it's already done, yeah, yeah. Thank Come on, clap you. your hand, everybody. Thank God, thank you. You're already here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. You. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, thank clap you. your hand. A miracle thank is happening. Thank you. The blood of Jesus. Come thank on, be healed. Be delivered. And be set free, woman. You're healed. You are healed. You was wounded for our transgression. You was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastise of your peace was upon your shoulders. And with your stripes, with your stripes, we are healed. My God, we healed. Come on, church. This woman is healed. Claim it. Claim it. Glory to God. Glory to God. As I ask for her, I ask for you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bless God. 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 Come on, let's look at somebody and say, All right now. All right now. God said, It's all right now. Congregation right here. 
I'm waving my hand. The power of God. You're going to feel the power of God. I'm waving my hand. The power of God be upon you right now. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The power of God. Remove the pressure and sadness. We rebuke it now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease. And every affirmative. Be rebuked. We curse it at the very root. And the blood of Jesus. Hey, the blood of Jesus. Ha, oh my God. Ha. The blood. The blood. The blood. Touch us here. Strength of us here. Habits. Hang ups. Addiction. We curse it here. And the blood of Jesus. Man be healed. Woman be healed. My girl be healed. Touch the body. The body be healed. Come on, the body be healed. From the crown of the head to the sole of my feet. We declare it. We rebuke death. Death be rebuked. We send it back to the pit of hell. Jesus. Jesus. Send help, Lord. In the sanctuary, help give us a spirit of prayer. The blood of Jesus, come on, come on. The blood, Woo! hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lift up those hands and surrender unto God and say, Lord, have your way, have your way. Let your way be had. Let the strength of God be upon the people of God. Anoint us again. Anoint us again. Strengthen us again. Fill us again with your Holy Ghost. Fill us again with your Holy Ghost. Fill us again. Fill us. Fill us. Fill us. Fill us. We want to refill it. We got to have a refilling. Feel the Lord. Feel the Lord. Feel the Lord. Feel the Lord. Yes. Yes. Woo. Yes. Let the glory fall. Let the glory fall. Let the mist of God fall in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Come on, come on. Let the world hear us. Praise the Lord. The world bash their music and worship their God. So let's worship our God. Let's let the world know. That the devil is a liar. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you something on me this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Woo!
Come in, Sherry, come on. Sherry, come in. Stay in that blame. Come in. I saw something. I want you to lay your hand on this woman right there. You right, right there, lay your hand on her right there. Pray for her right now. God's doing something for you right now. Come on, lay your hand. Sharon, y'all go and minister to her. Come on, now come on, son. Come on, help me, John. There's deliverance up in here. Come on, there's a little help there, son. John, help them. Go out there. Go out there, they're deliverance. Come on, help your hand. Line ya. Bring it forth. Bring it forth. Bring it forth.
yourself out of something. Go ahead, mama. If an 85 year old woman can dance, say everybody ought to be dancing. Woo! 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 Woo!
you can holler and say hallelujah. Come testify. Friday night. Come up here. I went on Friday night because I wanted to get my wife a Mother's Day gift. And I was traveling in the area. I did not go. I went on Friday night. I came down the street. And I was driving down the street. And I saw a little girl. And she was in the car. And I was like, what's going on? And the car was coming the opposite direction. And all I could remember was our cars collided. He went one way, but my car hit a telephone pole. Listen, and when, I, when the car hit the pole, the airbags deployed and all the airbags came out. Because when the car started sliding, all I did was brace myself because I knew I was headed straight for that pole. And I started to call the name Jesus. See, you want to know why my wife is back there praying for me? Because when I stepped out of the car on the ground, I recognized that I was okay, Bishop. I said my car might have been scraped up, but I didn't have a scratch. I didn't have no pain. I may not have no car right now, but God protected me. And that's why I give God praise. So why don't you clap your hands and hand give God some Come on, come on, give us praise.
Matilda, 261, East Lincoln Avenue, Mount Vernon, New York. 261. Woo! 261, East Lincoln Avenue, Mount Vernon, New York. He'll do it. 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 Let's open our mouths and thank God with, our, with the fruit of our mouths. The Lord is in this place. See, the world and people who operate in carnality don't understand why we praise God like we do. They think that we're foolish of a fool. But I praise God because I've got my victory. Who can stand before us? 
will be called that great name. Somebody in friendship said, Jesus. Precious Jesus. I have the victory. Woo, glory to God. Glory to God. Some people are sad, and I understand, but you got to snap out of that. And thank God, if your mother's gone and she was a good mother, you ought to thank God for having a good mother. Look at your neighbor and say, snap out of it and give God the glory. Ah, my, my, my. I am my son. I was singing that this morning. Yes, sir. When sorrow like sea billow roll, whatever my lot thou have taught me to say, is it well with your soul this morning? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, everybody, it is well. It is well. Come on. With my soul. One more time. It is well. God's holy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I am what God says I am. I can do what God says I can do because the promise of God belongs to me. I trust God's word. I believe God's word. And now I'm ready to hear God's word. Luke chapter number 8, verse 19 and 20. 8, 19 and 20. Just a few minutes ago. I saw two people walk in and two people walk out. And when, I, when they walked out, they said, I think they were at the wrong church. That's what the Spirit says. But the Spirit told me they should have stayed. They probably was thinking it was the church across the street. But when you, when you stumble up on something, it's not by accident. There was a move of God. There's a move of God in here this morning. When you think it's an accident, it's actually a coincidence. It's what God wants. Thank you, Jesus. When I listened to Elder John give his testimony that he almost died, that pole could have collapsed and crushed him and missionary Harris would have been grieving her husband and we would have been grieving. But the Bible said he give his angels charge over you. People don't believe in God and angels and ministering angel. But there's an angel that's God in you. How many people know that danger lurks all around us? Old folks had it right, unseen danger. Seen and un... How many people know there's some unseen stuff? 
that shoulda, coulda, thank you, happened. But the angels, all night, all day, the angels keep a watching over me, my Lord, all night, all day, all the angels keep a watching over me. Now, we don't worship angels, but we acknowledge them. The Bible said, be careful how you entertain strangers because you may entertain angels unaware. Angels can manifest themselves in human form. They can be invisible and visible. But you ought to thank God for your angel. When I had my surgery, I think almost 10 years ago, Angels was in the room. God in the doctor's hand. So to tend there when you had your surgery, angels was in the room. Mother Mary, when you had your surgery, how many of you had surgery? If you had surgery, look at somebody and say, Angels was in the room. Now, while you're standing, if you can holler, say, Help, Lord! Y'all ain't say, say, Help, Lord! Help, Lord! I'm gonna read my scripture. But your pastor, I'm your pastor now, is in a different place. I'm in a different place now. Did you hear me? I'm in a different place. Yeah. And because I'm in a different place, this church is in a different place. Now look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm in a different place. Yeah. Say it again, I'm in a different place. No foolishness. No gossiping. No jiving. No tricking. I'm in a different place. And look at somebody and say, neighbor, if you can't handle where I am, goodbye. Tell them goodbye, goodbye, because I'm in a different place. Yes, yes. The devil don't like that decoration, but you are. I declare and I decree that everybody in here is in a different place. Financially, you're in a different place. Mentally, you're in a different place. Your health is in a different place. So tell your past, goodbye, goodbye, past. Come on, say goodbye, 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 goodbye. I am in a different place. Yes! I'm going to read my text. But a different place requires a different behavior. Let loose and let God. Don't you let nobody bind you. You should have been let somebody bind you. And God gave you the victory. Yes, sir. That's right. A whole lot of folks' homes and a whole lot of apartments. Mm -hmm. People were evicted out of it. But you still got your roof. Somebody, don't y'all get don't y'all get afraid of the economy? We've been through inflation. Some of us been through worse than what we're going through. But God brought us through. And if you trust him, he's going to bring you through. David said, I've never seen 
Come on. The righteous forsaken nor Doreen, how many times you've been laid off? You've been laid off so many times, and every time you got laid off, God gave you another job. And while you was waiting for the transition, God still was taking care of your bills. You got stories in this place. You worry. Oh, yeah, that's it. Say it again. Look at somebody and say, won't he do it? Respond and say, yes, he will. You worrying about the wrong thing. The Bible said, be anxious for nothing, but through prayer and supplication, make your requests known unto God. Closed mouths won't eat. You keep your mouth closed, you ain't going to eat. But if you open up your mouth, God will fill your cup. Lift up those hands and fill me, Lord, and let it overflow. This morning, I want to talk about a godly mother. Thank God for the mothers here. I applaud you. Listen to Jesus in his narrative, Luke's narrative, chapter number 18, 19. Listen to what it says. It's powerful. One day, Jesus said to the disciples, no, 19, then Jesus' mother, somebody said Jesus' mother. Jesus' mother. 8. 19, chapter 8 of Luke, 19. You have it? Yes, sir. Luke chapter 8, verse 19. Then Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him, but they couldn't get to him because of the crowd. Someone told Jesus, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, and they want to see you. Jesus replied, my mother and my brothers are all, are, are all those who hear God's word and obey it. Yes. Now, Jesus referred to the audience. He said, he said let, let, me, let me put this in context, that my mother and my brothers are all those that hear God's word and obey it. However... He also is referring to his other, his mother. That his mother heard God's word and she obeyed God's word. Mary knew what she had. She knew what God had impregnated her through the process of top down, top side down and not top side up. The Holy Spirit overshadowed her and, and Mary conceived and what she conceived was God. Amen. Now let me say this and I said this earlier this morning. It is inappropriate for us to deify Mary. Right. Even to pray for Mary because Mary was only the conduit that God used. Yes. There was nothing supernatural about Mary. In fact, the angel Gabriel showed up and said, Mary, you're highly favored That's right. among women. In other words, God could have chosen some other woman, but he chose you. And we don't have a prerequisite why God chose her. Just we know that she was chosen. She was not chosen because she was extra special. In fact, she was a peasant. She was poor. She was, raised, she was raised in a poor village among poor people. But God chose her. God, God handpicked her. Not because she was poor. But God, God chooses whoever he wants to choose. And Paul told the believers of Corinthian, of, of, of Ephesus, the, the, the Ephesian believers, the choice that God makes, he makes it according to his good pleasure. So God, God takes delight in choosing you. And every one of you who have come into the knowledge of Lord Jesus Christ, you are the choice of God. Amen. That God selected you through an election. And there are some people who will not be chosen by God. Only the elect 
And that's why you ought to dance and scream and holler that God did not pass over you, but he chose you. I mean, happy that God chose me. He, he chose me with all of my flaws, Brother Pender. I've got flaws and hang-ups and some things I've been clever to keep from you. But God sees me right where I am and who he knows who I am. But with all of my mess, I'm the choice of God. Why don't you clap? Somebody will talk to back to me and say, you are the choice of God. So Mary should not be deified because she was a choice of God. God chose her. But Mary knew what she had. Every mother know their children or their child. Every, 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 every mother knows what God has impregnated her. I can't, I can't give you a clear description of what happens to a mother in the nine months of her pregnancy, because I've never been pregnant, and I never will be pregnant. I can only tell you what happens when my wife was pregnant and how she was disconfigurated. <laughs> Pregnancy will disconfigurate you. Not just merely through your physical figure, but it also you go through all kinds of emotional changes. You want pickles and watermelon. <laughs> what a combination that is. Late at night, I got that. I got you have a craving that I had to get up and go find it. <laughs> Don't care whether it's the middle of the night, the middle of the day, go get it. Right. Sometimes they become very uh, physically abusive and hit you on your head <laughs> and tell you, you did this. <laughs> As though they didn't have no participation in what was done. Mary knew what she had. How did we know she what she had? Because early on, when the baby was born, an angelic choir came and sung and said, peace on earth, goodwill towards all men. The wise men came and said, where is he, the king of the Jews? Early on, when Jesus went to the temple with his mother and dad, he got, he got, he didn't get lost, he got left. <laughs> and they backtrack. And their mama and daddy saw their son interact with doctors and lawyers. And their son said, what great wisdom. And the text says he grew in wisdom, knowledge, and stature. The mama knew what she had. But when they went to the, to the wedding at Achaia, the first miracle, the wine ran out. They told Mary mother, Mary mother, now tear, tells her son, and he said, what I got to do with it? But she knew if you ever told Jesus anything, he knows how to fix it. And he turned water into wine. Mama, are you getting it? Mama knows her child. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A good mother, a godly mother. And so now Jesus is this itinerary preacher. And the text says that a great crowd gathered where Jesus was. Why did they gather? Because they knew wherever Jesus was, great teaching was going to happen, and miracles would follow the teaching. The problem with most people in the church, they want great 
preaching but don't want great teaching. Right. Teaching is instruction. Yes. Preaching is exalting. Yes. I can do more with you instructing you than shouting you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But a whole lot of folks are addicts. They are emotional addicts, and they only come to church to get their fix. They come to the church looking for the church to make them feel better instead of looking for the church to instruct them how to be better. I just don't want to feel better. I want to be. Look at something and say, I want to be better. When I am better... It changed my perception of who I am. People have low self-esteem because they have low expectation. If I can teach you how to heighten your expectation, you will be better. If I can teach you that you can have whatever you desire, if you believe God and do it, the Bible said faith without works is dead. There's no reason why in the world you can't have any car, any house, any job, any man, any woman that you don't want to have. All you got to do is trust God and wait on him. But most of the time we get in God's way. I I told somebody, I said, the problem with you is that you fight in your battle. And when you start fighting your battle, God just stepped back and said, go ahead, knock yourself out. Because the scripture says, hold your peace. I will fight your battle, and vengeance is mine. Said the Lord. So, 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 so you fighting, you fighting your own man. Listen, when God moves, he moves. And whatever God does can't be undone. If God said you bless, can nobody undo your blessings? And I am pronouncing on you right now that everyone who entered this room today, you're blessed. Y'all not excited. I said you're blessed. The mere fact you were able to dress yourself and have cognitive reasoning to think about I'm coming here and how to get here. And then once you got here, oh my God, you participate in worship, you are blessed. And then you're so blessed that you recognize that you owe him a dance and you owe him a praise. And didn't care how ugly some people thought it was. You know what David did? He danced so that he danced out of his clothes. Because all David had to do, what you have to do, is just have a flashback. Have anybody here ever had a flashback when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. The crowd gathered where Jesus was. His mother and brother, brothers showed up where Jesus was. They said, Jesus, your mama's here. There was, Jesus showed no disrespect to his mama or his brothers. He was just doing his father's business. Because let me say something, brothers and sisters. Sometimes family members can be very disruptive. They don't want nothing just taking up your time. I love my sister Lisa, and I love my brother Michael, but sometimes they call me just too many times. I tell Michael, I'm in the middle of something, bro. What do you want? And sometimes I see their number and don't answer. Because I'm working. I'm making impact. And all they want to do is waste. Oh, you helped me something. I said, waste my time. They, they, listen, listen to what they said. They said, your mama and your brothers are standing outside and they want to see you. 
And Jesus said, not only is this my mother, this my brother, but everybody that hears and obey God's word is my mother. Come on, talk to me somebody. He says, hearing God's word will produce a godly mother and godly brothers. This, this morning in the United States of America, we, are, we, 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 we really have a challenge because the code of morality is being rewritten. Right now, they are rewriting what's right and wrong. Right now, we live in a society that more and more people are becoming practice atheists. That they have no real conscience or belief of God. That's, that's why, let me say this, that's why during this pandemic, these past two and a half years, when we were evicted out of the church, and now we are reopening, some people say they ain't coming back, because they're hiding behind the excuse yeah. of COVID-19. Right. 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 They really was looking for exit. Yep. They were looking, thank you, for a way out. And COVID-19 gave them a way out. But the truth of the matter, you are becoming more and more less God conscious when you don't hang around God conscious people. People who come to church have a reverence for God. You show up because you fear God. Fear means you respect God. You come, you, you come here because you know this is the house of worship. In fact, Jesus said, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You show up. You have no excuse. And so Jesus was saying to them, I'm happy that my mama show up, but I'm more happy that other mothers and other brothers show up because once they show up, they hear my word and they come on, obey my word. Thank God for godly mothers. I said, thank God for godly mothers. Mothers who showed up. If you had a mother who knows you, who showed up and put in you godly principles, why are you sad today? Why, why are you moping today? You should be dancing and praising the Lord for a godly mother because there are so many ungodly mothers who left their children, who took food out of the mouth of their boyfriends, out of the mouth of their children and gave it to their boyfriends or girlfriends. who abandoned their children, their children were placed in foster care with foster parents. You ought to thank God for foster parents. If you are forced the child, you ought to thank God that somebody opened the door for you when your mother just left you out on the curb because she had no clear direction. Thank God for godly mothers. Jesus said, oh, bless God, that you're my mother, you're my brothers, because you hear the word and you obey the word. Let me close with this. The Bible said, train up a child. And the way it should go, when they get old, they will not depart. Well, the first line of defense of training comes from a mother. This morning, I called Pastor Wormley. He lost his wife three months ago. She died. His daughter is about to celebrate her 16th birthday. 
The other child was about nine years old, something like that. Maybe 10, how 12, or how old is she? But, and I said to him, my wife, mother died while she was in college. But during her adolescent teen years, her mother became sick and unable to take care of herself. But she had enough sense to train Nisi how to take care of household and to take care of herself. When her mother died, it was nothing new to her how to cook, clean, how to manage, how to take care of a man because she was taught. I said, Pastor Wormley, Samika, your wife taught them girls. They left them girls with you. And Samika's now saying, Lester, I did my part. What you going to do? My mother did her part. And my father was there. He did his part. And now you're looking at the finished product. <laughs> Thank God for your mother. Let's lift up our hand and thank God for our mothers. No hooping. I'm done. This is Mother's Day. Sherry, you're going to be a mother. In fact, you are a mother. You got, how many kids did you got in the school? They all your children. It's going to come. Amen. There's some people are better. Mother Knight never had any children, but she had many. She didn't birth any, but she had many. So all you ladies that perhaps may not have been able to give birth naturally, but you have given birth spiritually, this is your day too. You know, Professor Minor, folks don't understand this. The difference between natural birth and adoption. Adopted children have legal rights just as natural children. But sometimes adopted children have say in whom will be their parent. Whereas the natural children don't have no say. To every adopted child that have adopted mother, you are so blessed. Because I didn't have that choice. You had that choice. Out of circumstances, and you are a survivor. Thank God, everybody lift up a hand. I said, I survived. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on now. I just want to thank you, Lord. Everybody said thank you, Lord. Church is open. You know. As we stand, maybe you want to join the church. Maybe you need to join the church. Everybody, come on, thank the Lord.
He's able, he's willing to do exceeded and abundantly all that you may ask of him. I believe God. I said, I believe God. I want you to trust him, obey him, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus. There may be somebody out there that want to sow a seed in the life of this church. I want you to prepare yourself. On the screen, you can see. You can see. Three ways of giving. Give a five. You can give through PayPal. Or you can send to the church. We're going to make available for you even to do cash app. But we got these three means of giving. I want you to trust God and obey him. For there's no other way. You can give. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God. Come on. forevermore and the blessing of the Lord be upon them and also upon you God bless you may be seated as we bring this to a close listen I want everybody's time to give our offering